Time to bust over some ranchies, kitties. Welcome to part... 13. 13 of Symphonia. <laughs> and here we're back talking to Neil, and guess what happens? We told him Door is as dead as a doornail. His name was Door. He's a we door. got a key from the door. We got a key to the door. <laughs> the back door. <laughs> Ugh! Let's not go into that anyway. All right, so now we can, forward, we can finally order up. Yeah. So we're ordering out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll have uh, a number three, a number three, a number four for Genus, and a number one for uh, Kronos. Colette. She's light eater. <laughs> she is these days. No pe no peppers. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the pump. I took the back door in so I can have less of this shit to deal with. Once again, Tempest just types me right on over there. Meanwhile, I have Rain command me to... Command, I command Rain to use the magic lens on a bowman just to be doubly safe in the midair. Genus, meanwhile, stays there, gets whipped in the fucking mouth while his sister does nothing. Now, we, that was thanks to Dora that we were able to go into the back entry of the ranch, but is there a front entry that you can actually go into? Yeah. Oh. But it, it, either way, it's just like a waste of time, considering that most of the treasures are either way, so it doesn't really matter. So you can go to the ranch. Well, you said yourself that you can go to the ranch immediately. Right. You can go to the ranch first, or you can go to the back door. The Raybits are the same thing. They're all the same monsters we've already fought earlier, just, you know. Stronger. Yeah, and I got shot point blank in the face. Too bad I don't have lightning, and I got stunned by the Whipmaster. Rain just runs there and just takes it like a champ. Double Demon Fang, that's one of my personal favorites of the T-Tech line. Two quick Demon Fangs. Although, if you have Fierce Demon Fang with Lloyd and an Earth-based accessory, or his weapons been attuned to Earth damage, you'll do something called Grave Blade, which is something similar to what, um... Boda hit us with back in uh, chat in episode four. I can't think back far, that far because uh, part four was the last part we did before we took that break. Oh uh, yeah, break, quote unquote. Yeah, but break is in. Hey, uh, yeah. tech fucker. Uh, doth my eyes deceive me, Matt? Is Lloyd actually using swords? Yes, I'm no longer using wooden <laughs> blades. Those sticks serve me well. I find it weird though that I gained a title called Eternal Apprentice, despite. Throwing them right the fuck out as soon as I got them. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it here that everybody's uncomfortable at the Palma Costa Ranch. I mean, let's face it, who wants to take a tour of a fully yeah, functional who, death camp? Who the fuck is comfortable at a ranch besides the science? Uh, cattle? Uh, uh, is, uh, is, is that another term human? for humans? Ooh. By the way, this is also some really... Ex I think we've already de delved into this back at the, uh... Base of the rent, but at the base of the uh, the other area, but uh, we're dealing with some really highly advanced technology for Silveron. Yeah, I mean this is this is place is simply out of this world. Oh, that's a nice way of putting it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what we just got there is a green screen. Like, uh, we haven't defeated Magnus yet. We can't leave, so you can't go back out that way. No problem. No harm. No foul. By the way, you're gonna be doing some tricks here. You're, to get your treasure hunter trophy, you're gonna want to like constantly have the green thing on, and then you're gonna want to hunt down um items like the sparkling things. It gets really obnoxious in a teleporter maze later on. Okay, so they make a shield with something that was sparkling on the floor because I didn't see that. It was like a blink and a miss moment. Yeah, it was it was just above Lloyd's head. I realized now I gotta have to go take a different pathway. You also have to use the uh, thing to reveal the hidden orbs and then reveal pathways. This is enough. This is a nifty little tool here. I like how Rain knows this shit, even though we have no fucking idea what she knows. How she knows all this. Books tell all. <laughs> I read it in a book. I know it to be true. <laughs> That's essentially Amelia Maxwell in a nutshell. <laughs> I can't wait till we get to Zelia, by the so, way. So, the. By the way, what, it, also what happened makes to that guy? it also makes enemies invisible. Okay, so that. Okay, there we go. For a second there, I thought it was like a frame rate issue. I was like, oh, these guys are probably blinking rapidly. That's why the frame rate's not picking them up. But no, you tell me the enemies are invisible. They just... So they pop up the moment you run into them for a battle's right. sake. By the way, folks, get used to see a Tiger Blade a lot on this playthrough, because it's my one of my favorite arts. It goes right into everything I need to do, and I still fucking regret... I know I've probably said this in the comments so many times. One of Lloyd's best EX combos is Sky Cancel, which allows him to, dump, which allows him to jump right into his higher arc text if he's in midair. And I don't fucking remember it for the rest of this Let's Play. <laughs> I am so pissed at myself. What I happened? I was like, a brain fart? An utter brain fart. It did not occur to me. You look up a guide offline. Find the EX skills. I was like, oh, shit. Uh, oh, well. Since of our fathers. Yeah. 
you know, it, it, you'd be surprised how, you, especially if you're like in the middle of recording, you, you know, you're not talking to anybody, you're all by, you're isolated and that shit like that. You'd be surprised how easy just have a brain. Man, fight. are you, man? <laughs> you made me sound like a loneliest fucking hermit. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you, you don't really, especially. It all depends on how, how I well adjusted this for a bit. I cheap nothing, by the way. So get off. What do you want to say? Uh, it, you know. It, it, depending on the time of the night for me in particular, you forget to do even the most basic shit, or you can't think on the long term in terms of, uh, especially with RPGs. What's really funny is that I remember some of the good ones. I make sure Perseia. I fucked that up twice. <laughs> anyway, I make sure I get um the axe fighter, the foot fighter, and I get concentrated on my mages. This is a teleportation maze. There are wrong ways to go in this place. Oh, I'm thinking. Oh, I'm jumping ahead. I jumped ahead. We're going to get to a maze like that, where there's hidden items around the area. Which you're going to need to find all of them if you want Sheena's Treasure Hunter. I sure as hell don't fucking waste the time. But, um... There'll be, like, a few pathways you're going to have to take as well. One other thing I forgot to mention. Um, you know, I'll get to that when it comes. The Omega Shield. I picked up a Kratos. It's going to be a uh, healing buff to him. So he has, like, an auto regen as long as he has that equipped. Cool. Very helpful on the harder difficulties when <laughs> three points of extra defense ain't gonna matter shit compared to 50 points of healing. How did this kid get the car from a design if the design, if he was locked up in the cell where the design wouldn't be touching him? Uh, maybe they were rounded up in a ver in like on a conga line and. The kid just picked his pocket? Yes. I'll eat it, whatever. Now we have a blue card. If we find a green card, we get to go to the next world. Woo! Uh, what was the value of the, the door? The blue card? It's a key card. Yeah, no, but... I check around and see if I'm missing anything. And I jet. Uh, now hello, you, you, point, you, goodbye, save point. Uh, you were this is a weird little puzzle. You were Divisible like, blocks. Oh, well. It's just a matter of, I guess, just lighting the just, area up. Just a scanner. Yeah. EX Gem Level 2. Love it. Now, EX Gem Level 2s have personal equipped to them. I want to talk about personal. Depending upon what character is equipped... Their personal abilities will be completely different. I give I I all I show off what we got here. We have dodge, dash, fatality, and personal for all of them. Dodge, uh, self dodge, dash, self-explanatory. Fatality is very helpful because if you combine that with the uh, the eternal EX skill you get from the uh, EX gem level three, it teaches your characters the EX skill life up, which boosts up your maximum HP occasionally after battle. I, they say rarely. I've had a lot of luck getting that, so. If you want to boost up your HP for the cheap run, there you go. Is it a permanent increase? Permanent. Oh, okay. So it's like a it's like a stat bonus, pretty much. Absolutely. Of course, and needless to say, there's also Spirit Up, which is the same thing, just, you know, with, um... Spirit instead of life. Right. By the way, you don't need to really see the blocks to push them. I just decided to do this to fuck with the design over there like I'm a pantomime. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was making my moments for the audience. They can't see me what I was doing. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so you really, if if it's very possible, if you memorize this entire dungeon, to just you don't need to activate the scanner for anything. You can just push these visible blocks where they need to go. Uh, actually, I think you. Uh, or now, the I'm willing to be corrected on this one again, folks, because I don't remember ever not doing it this way. But it may be. I think you may need to use the scanner to actually pick up the items itself. Otherwise, you just don't see them. Hmm. Or I guess in the. Do you know if the blocks are randomized? The blocks are not randomized. Okay. Nor is the tell. Nor will. Nor will. I forgot the fucking thing. Anyway, we need to get up there. This is going to piss me off in later dungeons. Particularly of certain forests. Huh. That's pretty nifty. That is pretty nifty. We never do that again. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I hate that. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> you you want to get pissed now? Wait till we get to Ymir Forest. Okay. <laughs> Wait till you mirror for All right, I'll, I'll take your word for it. I'll be, I'll pay real close attention too for any sort of bullshit justification they try to give to it. They're, they don't even give you that. <laughs> Do this puzzle because fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm jumping the gun a bit here, but there's going to be a point in this dungeon. I, I do my best to edit around it where you, 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 you flounder for a bit. Like, you do, were you, uh, do you, like, is that another brain fart or? Most likely a brain fart. We'll find out when we get there. Oh, I brain fart. I was trying to get down there for some reason. So I decided to kill things. Oh. Meanwhile, it's 3 on one I'm hoping, like, hell's everybody can call some attention. Uh, 
I just, I just like, I just lay on the fuck out of everything. Genus is really good here, especially considering he should have lightning by now. And I'm just trying to get him to like learn magics, because he also has to fulfill a certain casting quota. It's only 50 spells, but he got to fulfill that. Before, we got to fulfill that so he can learn the next tier up. Oh, so, so generous that he can actually, you know, shop via these squares. You think they're gonna go shopping anywhere? And Kratos feels like making the sandwich. <laughs> I expect better out of you, man. <laughs> I thought we ordered out. <laughs> We're ordering out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the, the sandwich is so greasy it fell through the bag. Grotto's cooked a fried boot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fuck up here. I keep trying to get down there for some reason, but then ultimately I go, fuck it, and I get out. And this, this is my fault, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I left Johnny a bit of, like, I left Johnny some notes to tell him what to edit out, and I forgot about this. So that was my fault. You see that down there? Yeah. To this day, still have no idea how the hell I get there. To this day, I still don't care. <laughs> Down that spiral? Yeah, I never know how to, how to get there. So do you... Subscribers! Do you have any idea, uh, through research, what's in there? Not important. I, I've been in every game without it. <laughs> oh, that turns an instant warp to the Tower of Salvation. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> the end game. <laughs> uh oh, the common sense for Colette to use that jump ability and that force. Colette's trip-proof ability. <laughs> There's a software card. Purple, red, blue. Woo! So you, you have to toggle between the cards right there. No, you just use them all. Oh. This is the teleportation maze. You have to find the right way to go. You can't get lost here. Try not to. Look up a guide for this. I sure as hell did. Which, and I didn't think, again, I, I looked up a guide to solve this. I didn't look up the guide for the fucking sky cancel. <laughs> By the way, not all of them are items. Some of them are alarms. Oh, okay. I was wondering what would cause that. I was like, you're just standing still. I was like, oh, wow. I was like, oh, wait a minute. There's an intruder in here. <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd, don't touch that. That's a security drone. <laughs> I gotta tell you, though, it is refreshing to finally see Lloyd use blades <laughs> instead of those damn wooden sticks. There's something that I don't really draw attention to too much. All, all of the weapons in the game have their own unique look and texture. Yeah, that's cool. And they look really great, especially with some of them. Uh, especially with some of them. I was dumb. One of my favorite weapons to use with Lloyd, just from a look perspective, is his defender weapon. Or is it defensor in this game? I'm not sure. Well, really, hey. I mean, since the shift to... Well, no, because even 2D games have been doing it for a while, but you have to do it now just for the sake of keeping things interesting. Well... Yeah, no, I mean... I, yeah, you're right. I, I, you're I, right. No, actually, it should be... It's just it's a, it's a concept as old as NES days, because even Final Fantasy 1 did that. Tales of Destiny did it, too. And that was, like, early PlayStation. I mean, well, I'll just take some mad pictures. I love Lloyd's selfies. <laughs> gotta cherish these moments. Kodak <laughs> moment, folks. Kodak. What should we call it? Um, what else? Oh, there's something else I realized in this version that's unique to the HD version. Because of later Tales games, some items got new looks. In other to words, for example, one item in the game, the Claw Gauntlet, originally looked like a Claw Gauntlet that was seen in Tales of Destiny. Now it looks like Bryce's Claw from Tales of Graces. Who's Bryce, you ask? Let's play Tales of Graces in the future. So, wait, just just to fit in better with the series in general? Yeah. Well, okay. they fit in before, it's just more, it's just updated now to give it that little different look. So it was updated in a, in a future game, and then for a re-release of an older game, they updated it. They brought it to, back. Yeah. Yeah, this ain't really interesting. It's just teleportation. Woo! But you have to keep going through all sorts of paths to get every item if you're going after Treasure Hunter. I am almost convinced that there's probably one of these pathways to take to get me to that cylindrical staircase, and I don't give two shits and a fuck. <laughs> what what do you was think? that about? <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd gets the foresight this time to actually break security <laughs> camera. Damn it! Local man ruins everything. <laughs> Set designs. <laughs> <laughs> Those inferior beings. Whoa! Two men with whips and a woman. Oh, I don't like where that's going. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they gave us the look. <laughs> oh, that's it, son. It's all like the deck and eight. Who was that one over there with the gun? Is that another crossbow? Enemy? Yep. Okay. Look for, for a second there. It looked like it was just carrying an automatic. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> it's like, oh, they, shit. Look, they, really, they really upgraded. Oh, they're going to upgrade already. Right. Wait till we get the old guy. That's going to be fucking fun. <laughs> for Christ's sake, their machines are called murder and perfect murder. 
I really should take the time to restore their TP. Please tell me, because I haven't watched the Rawls in a while, <laughs> that I use TP to restoring gels on them. I'll have to find out, Matt. Oh, this is gonna get fucking stupid. I hate this fucking lady. Everybody, thank you all so much. Thank you for saving me from future. There is no time to be Still need to take care of Magnus. Magnus sounds fucking nasty. Well, that just scribbles my head. Our job is to secure the control room and assure a safe escape. Okay. Door finally mobilized his plans, didn't he? <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got a flat heart. I mobilized my sword in his face. <laughs> Wait, no, kill you did. That leads to a room filled with sparkling lights and other magical-looking things. <laughs> and other <laughs> magical-looking things. <laughs> that's all right. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure it's magical. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what old people say about computers. <laughs> Watch this thing do. That's the power button. I think I didn't get the memory gem, so I can't really save here. Yeah, you did. Oh, woohoo! It was one of the first things you got when you uh, entered the ranch. Now, I don't remember. Thanks to a bitching time in photography. <laughs> <laughs> Take a picture. Price from memory sale. Click! Fatal frame. <laughs> so this is the control room. Yes, Lloyd. Very observant. So, the Forsaken Chosen and her entourage of vermin have finally arrived. Fuck you, King Vermin. Forsaken. For what? <laughs> Forsaken, the video game? Let's fight! Forsaken! <laughs> Sagan! Sagan! <laughs> you got it mixed up, Magnus. You're the one that's forsaken. Your time here is up. Magnus just sits there. Like, he, was like he was timing that. I know. It's like, he Magnus feels like he's taking a- he's reading it right from the script of Bad Villainy. We're surrounded! Thank you, Col- yeah, Col yeah, you're supposed to say that with a frowny face! Not really, I mean, we <laughs> killed four of these guys at once earlier. Magnus kind of reminds. This dialogue kind of screams like Internet Troll. An Internet Troll who's really bad at his fucking craft. His shoes are beyond steel toe boots. Oh, yeah. That's a projector. A product of Magi technology. Projectors are now Magi technology, Johnny. <laughs> that sounds kick ass. If you want to, you know, we don't make it any less mundane. So, ironically enough, we're the ones that got busted because he found out this is how he knew what we were doing. We never bothered to disable security cameras. Then again, did we know they had security cameras? You would think. That kind of. That should be. You know what? I can understand Lloyd and Colette being uneducated Silveranti about all this kind of shit, but, uh. You would think a place like this would have no security, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, at least Rain would know about it, because she seems to know about things about control rooms and shit like that. She knows things about control rooms, like their rooms full of controls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, th that was. Oops. How about I recreate that incident using the vermin on the projector? This guy's a real class act. I'll unleash their X spheres and turn them into monsters. Alakazam! <laughs> Stop. Okay, since you asked so nicely. More than happy to turn them into monsters, just like that old lady you killed. This is pinheaded shit. <laughs> you don't mean Oh, but I oh yeah. Do, my little chocolate. Dear old Granny Marble was said So now we know why the shop was named Marble. Where she was killed by Lloyd. Well, you think they named it after the foundation? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they maybe enjoyed a bitch in game of marbles and just named out the story. They won it in a game of marbles, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I rub it in the guy's face that they won against they named the story Marble. Lloyd killed her. That I did. After she was turned into a monster, who was going to kill us and the folks of Isalia. Yeah, seriously, I mean, what the fuck did you want us to do? Give it a stern wag of the finger. <laughs> Don't you dare now! <laughs> Damn it. Let her go. Meanwhile, Chocolat goes fucking stupid. Oh, this is dumb. You know, I can't fucking tell you how much I wanted to do the deed myself there and just offer. Like, there's... There's dumb, there's outright dumb, and then there's this kind of shit. This is like the equivalent of this is like the equivalent of a. This is like the equivalent of saying, "Boy, I sure don't like getting um hit by these two people. Let me go join the fucking. Let me go to Auschwitz instead." That's just dumb. You're looking. You're not looking at the bigger picture here. 
Well, I'm talking just strictly for Chocolat here. It's like it's Chocolat like, won't go with the person. Your who grandmother, grandmother, who we kidnapped by the way, and put inside the human ranch, transformed into a monster by our fruition. <laughs> and as we sucked them on Lloyd and Genus, but they killed her. Oh, they're assholes. And then that, that's the thing about Chocolat. What the fuck? Where is the bigger picture here? Chocolat <laughs> kind of whipped everything. So the Chocolat's now whisk away. And like I said, I had to be. I call that really dumb fucking writing. Like, I don't care. Like, that's just outright dumb. I won't ever defend that or justify that. I'll accept no defense or justification for that. That was outright fucking stupid. To inferior beings, I was just warming up. Hey, you're always warming up. When are you gonna unleash your full potential? He never will. Oh. Thankfully, Chocolat and our little temper tantrum dropped the past. Oh, he's going full Ren there for a second. Oh yeah, he's absolutely nuts. I hope he doesn't fight me in the fucking chair. <laughs> a chair tackle. He just sucks <laughs> like lasers out of it. Right along with you fools who can't let go of your elven blood. Fools? Huh? I love this theme, by the way. You really think you're gonna live through this? Magnus has high damage output. But you can, though manageable on the lower difficulties. Here's the thing about Magnus, though. He also usually hits single target. Barring eruption. That's like his multi hit right there. But if you have fire resistant accessories, you could easily take him down. Like I said, he's got high damage potential, but he only really hits like one or two hits. So he's not too hard to take out. So he's not, he, he, he can't really do groups well. Essentially, yes. Magnus also has a few fire arts like eruption, flame lance, fireball. I think. Well, I'm not sure Fireball. I know he has Eruption and Flame Lance. Magnus also has Beast Arts, which is basically going to hit you and knock you down. I chose to have Genus in this battle. I don't know why. I usually leave Genus out of the multiple boss battle, except this is like uh, a boss of two moves, so he's not too bad here. What's the better option? Physical attacks or magical attacks that he's weak to? Does Magnus have weaknesses? Magnus has no weaknesses, but... Like I said, ooh, thank God for um, defense there. Now Magnus is also really easy to stun lock as well. Of course, I also set him into Oversoul because fuck me, I'm dumb. Now if he has a Mystic Art, I don't know what it is. If you guys are willing to tell me, be be my guest. I welcome it. Now he uh, he doesn't look to be so much of a glass cannon though, because his defense is pretty up there too. Like I said. He's not he's nothing you really can't manage except on the harder difficulties you're really going to want to try to get some like fire resistant armor just because the damage output goes up quite a bit on the harder mania difficulties would you recommend in the harder difficulties oh here's unison attack I use fireball I meant to use lightning with genus to get a uh, lightning tiger blade oh now your attacks are suddenly doing a fourth of what they did earlier yeah it's cuz he fell down <laughs> so he gets a defense buff when he falls down. <laughs> yeah, and, and when he picks himself back up. <laughs> well, he's actively guarding too, though. Right. Like I said, if you, good blocking will easily make the difference in that battle. Ouch! You the wrong guy to so I got the warrior symbol, which jacks up attack power by 10%. So for harder difficulties, would you just recommend keeping your distance at all times? No, I would recommend just having a better defensive. How could a superior half-elf like me... It's because huh? you are a fool. Nobody asked about your race. Crucius <laughs> has accepted Colette as the chosen. Hmm. What? That's right. Colette is going to regenerate the world. We're not going to lose to someone like you. Mm. So, you're... Huh? Then, I was deceived. Deceived? Damn it, he died before we could interrogate him. Oh, shit. You know, he's right on the realm of consciousness. Boy. Meanwhile, Rain wonders what this button does. <laughs> I can see her pressing the wrong button, too. Can I change my mind? Ow, ouch! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I guess it's a no. <laughs> Let's see what else is on. <laughs> Catch up on Magnus' and soups. <laughs> Genus, did you not learn anything from what Lloyd said earlier back at the ranch? Oh, great. 
Oh boy, Dirk's gonna be doing a lot of work. <laughs> Really? Ready? Yeah, boy, huh? Are you serious? You would think self-destruct would be a word outside of the Silverante definition, though. At the very least, we'll deal a major blow to the design strangle. Amen to that. If we're going to strike them, it should be thorough and decisive. That's just actually a really good excuse to use to blow shit up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it's always good to weaken the defenses of the force you're up against. That's a good way of saying blow shit up. Yes. Damn it, we set up another freaking security guard. I tried to set it for 10 minutes, but I accidentally put it for 10 seconds. RUN! <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes later. I must inform or cease just while I can. Meanwhile. Oh, well, this guy just screams fucking oot dirt ball. Look at that nose. He's a colossal schnoz in the ears those, to boot. Those glasses don't do anything. They don't. They're... They are attached to his nose. Wait, deceived. There was no order to eliminate the chosen, was there? Oh my. Wait, the designs don't want to eliminate the chosen. Wait, wait, what? I remember we kind of. Yeah, but aren't we supposed to eliminate? Aren't they supposed to hinder the chosen's path at all costs, up to and including termination? Well, remember, we got a glimpse of that as early as part two, I think. Remember when Forcesis was inside the first town, and one of the goons was saying, Us, kill the Chosen. Ah, oh, I see. They must be after the Chosen. Ah. No, that meant that they were portraying to their own innocence on that one. In other words, it wasn't them that were after the Chosen that time. I, I, took, it the, I took it the other way, as in they had no interest in doing that in the first place. Then if that's the case, what the hell are the designs doing here in the first place? Oh, causing trouble. Causing trouble and mayhem and mischief, okay. Even though... Wait, what? <laughs> Aren't they supposed to just sit here and cause trouble and then mischief? Like... They're not like some people who decided to throw on some uniforms that go... <laughs> well, that guy certainly did, though. Yeah, because yeah, Ma Magni has just got his <laughs> idea for reading comic books. Even the door really wanted to save her. By the way, your governor's dead. Just fuck with the Just throw him one hard <laughs> Just, just throw that in there. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well then, I mean, are we going back to Palma Costa now? Oh, we could if we wanted to. I, ch I showed that there's no way to get back in there. And we're done. Get out of here. <laughs> I get so paranoid to check for other items and goodies I might have missed. You found a charred shield. <laughs> you found Magnus's axe. <laughs> <laughs> what if this adventure is away this next time? See you next week, kiddies. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Next week, tomorrow.